Found something? A piece of amber. A sacred stone of the Sangar Cross. The Kreutzer Cartel acquired amber like that just recently. You've really been having a good look around Warwick, haven't you? Black Arras. Definitely the Lord of Vengeance. He's the only one anyone would offer up a piece of amber to in order to facilitate the invocation. You mean the yeah, Sun God Prius is nemesis? What would he have to do with summoning undead? Maybe that explains why they were able to attack during the day without turning to dust. The light shunning rubble. Don't be silly. This just doesn't fit. We'll need to find the mastermind if we want to know more. If Black Arras is involved, someone is out for revenge. But when he starts summoning undead at the same time, he's out to divert attention from something else. Something bigger. Oh, then it has to be a Barbaradian father. With them, nothing is ever the way it seems. Find that funny, do you? You find that funny, you silly fool? Come, father, calm down. We need to get going. Now, if we find him and he really is a Barbaradian, you can have the finishing blow. You are fools, children. Happy fools. Another barricade. At least one summon must still be alive. What the hell's happened here? One less necromancer, one more demonic sacrifice. An executioner's sword with a lioness coat of arms on it. Exactly the same kind of weapon just stolen from the Rondrians. A Rondrian weapon as an offering in an undead summoning? That's strange. The war goddess's demonic opponents have nothing to do with rebels. Right. That summoning must have been directed at some other demon than the Archdemon Thargunitoth. 
The undead have been called independently of this summoning. Besides Rondra's nemesis Belhalha, I'd say Blackaraz, the Lord of Vengeance, would probably be a good guess. Executioner souls are often sacrificed to him. How come you know so much about demons? You picked these things up over the years. Mm. Cairo, aren't you in a hurry? There's still a good way to the Prior's Temple. Fork, who would ever thought to see you here? Sharp tongued as ever. At least there's one way to distinguish you from the undead. Fork, are you here to help? The zombies didn't rise up on their own. Someone called them. We followed that man here. The leader of the necromancers has fled to the Prios Temple. He is trapped. The house of the Sun God has been desecrated. The God of Princes will not protect the lowliest. At least we know that now. And we know where his soul will go when we've finished with it. Protect the refugees. I'm going in. You were very brave. In Rondra's name, I'll let you go first. Suddenly worried about getting your fingers dirty? <laughs> no, dear Cairo. For once in your life, you too should have the chance to prove your worth. Maybe some rich citizen's daughter will hear of your courage. A cleverly arranged marriage with a little tart like that, and you could gain citizenship. I'm going in. Hey, my dear. been expecting you. How do you know my name? You won't need a name where you're going. Get ready to face the Dark Mother. Oh, 
ahora todo. The villain's escape left many questions unanswered. Who summoned them? What did he want to achieve? Why did Falk, a senior Rondrian, allow Chiron to face the summoner? Instead of replying, Falk ordered the Rondrians to seal off the refugee camp and comb it in search of the summoner there, using whatever means necessary. He quartered his bride Calandra and her family in the old pillory the best guest house on the square. At least now, with the approaching wedding, his thoughts seemed to focus on Calandra's welfare. At least, that was the impression he gave. Mm. Yay. Stop eavesdropping, Chiron. What is said in the next room really is well. none of your business. Falk is talking to his mother, probably planning his next crime, the bastard. Enough! We all realize that you can't stand them. Not even you like those two, Father. We could see the way you stared at Falk's mother. You had better get used to them. I'm not going to do it, Father. We have citizenship. We no longer need them. You will marry Falk, and you will move with him when his church transfers him. I go where I want, and I'll marry the man I love. Bite your tongue, Calandra. You don't even know what you're saying. Never, ever talk to us like that again. Otherwise, you will find yourself sitting there all alone in the morning with your damn citizenship. You're a stubborn, rebellious idiot, Chiron. Stop inciting your sister like that. Father, I love Chiron. Huh? You... You don't know what you're saying. And I love her. Children, you're running to your doom. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. I thought that maybe little Calandra would give me some advice on how we can make the wedding particularly tasteful. The old Rondra temple is such an austere, dreary building, and it would be a shame if our tastes were all too different. Certainly. She will come with you. Father. My dear Chiron, it is really touching to see how much you worry about your little sister. But... I think she should decide for herself. Don't you, I will come. Excellent, excellent. We will host a celebration such as Warwick has never seen. Come along. And it goes without saying that the anxious brother can join us later at the temple. Very well, gentlemen. I'm going to the Rondra Temple. I'm not leaving Calandra alone with that woman. At least one of us has to stand by her. Calandra! Yes, <laughs> People of Warum, be reminded that every death must be reported to the Metropolitan, and each body delivered unto the Dion. Anyone who refuses to comply and continues to exchange dead bodies for cash is now to the death. The days of the dragon are over! Mistress Rondra, be brave! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
full of worm. He reminded that every death must be reported to the Metropolitan, and each body delivered unto the Deons. Gyron, my friend, I've been looking for you. Did something happen? Indeed, Indeed there was an attempt on my life. By whom? Well, what do you think? The guard, of course. Let me guess. In reality, the cartel went up against Fergalosh's people and got their wrists slapped. I wanted Fyodor back. Someone set things up so that that most learned gentleman is currently in the wrong hands. Whatever. Be careful, my friend. You might just be the next person the sergeant... You mean an act of revenge? Possibly. Fergal... I have to go, Perel. My sister needs me. Take care of yourself. Free city, <laughs> free to vote, maybe.
sales ahí. They could get the grubby fingers on. And you won't say they didn't give you any of it, you'd have starved long since. silent when I demand it. That's enough! Come, drop it! That's right, my love. It would be a shame if my dear brother-in-law were forced to watch our wedding from the scaffold. Man to man, come and chop you into bloody little pieces. It will be my pleasure. Well, the time is ripe. Men, march! Didn't you defend yourself? It's not as bad as it looks. His mother jumped in between us before it got ugly. What did you do in the temple? Wedding preparations in the temple. And some kind of... test. On me. On you? Chiron, there are more important things at the moment. Please listen to me. Fultz's mother seems to like me. A lot. I was able to ask her a great many questions, and she talked like a disciple of Namdus. Folks struck me to stop me from asking questions. She already knows much too much, he said. And she was right. I won't stand around here and wait until the wedding begins. I want to kill that invocator. Wait. I found out something else that might help you. Folks's mother talked a lot about the god Nandus' sons, Demon Master Borborad and Rohal the Wise. Heresy in the old Londra temple? Unbelievable to think that the Rondrians would tolerate such a thing. Except for Falk, there weren't any of them in the area when she talked about it. She mentioned a Council of the Dead. Borborad's Council of the Dead. It's supposed to be here in Mollock Mountain. Father once spoke of it. We were very young, he had been drinking and was cursing the Borboradians. Upon his return from the grave, the Demon Master summoned the souls of the greatest scholars from Boron's underworld. He banished them into three troll skulls, which had to answer all of Borborad's questions. Whenever they refused, they were plunged into terrible agonies. I remember. Father said that the Skulls only answer Borborad himself, him or his official successor. Borborad appointed a successor? If he wanted to ensure that his church would continue to exist after his death, he would have had to. Maybe there isn't an official successor. Then the Skulls would have to answer everyone. Or no one. It would be worth a try. If I understood Fultz's mother correctly, the Council of the Dead is somewhere in Moloch Mountain. This could be our chance. If the Council of the Dead knows the answer to everything, you could ask it anything. About the undead, the necromancer, maybe the Council even knows what other lies our father told us. So back to Moloch Mountain. Oh, this could be fun. <laughs> but it's so nice that you're doing it anyway. Take this. I've borrowed it from Fultz's mother. She waved it around when talking about the council. Maybe you can use it somehow. Good luck, my hero.
Ahorita está bien, ya bien. Gente, já começa. 